this is Feed Your Mind. And so there's a question that I was asking in my community tab. So to get to my community tab, you just go to my homepage and click community and you'll end up on my community page. And that's where you can find these polls where I'm asking, is the moon a solid object? As expected, so far, most people are saying, no, it is not. But the next poll I'm going to put out is going to be a similar question, but you have to read the fine detail because the next poll is going to say, does the moon appear to be a physical object? And so that's a completely different question. I would guess that if most people are being honest, you would have to probably say, yes, the moon does appear to be a physical object. So what we're saying is the moon is not a solid solid object, but the moon appears to be a solid object. So what does that mean? Well, when I'm putting that information together, and I would guess most of us are creationists. So we believe that this place was created and not a random accident. So if the moon was placed there intentionally, as the Bible says, there's a greater light during the day and a lesser light during the night. That sounds a lot like they're talking about the sun and the moon. So um, why would the moon appear to be a physical object if it's not? Is that a clue? That seems to me like a big clue because, well, with the craters on the moon or what appear to be craters, uh, that's what makes people believe that the moon's a physical object. They'll look at the shadows of the craters and look at even some people might. I don't know if there's any ex observations with shadows at all on the moon, like besides craters, possibly. But I know the crater shadows is a big one where they're saying that shows people that the moon's a physical object. And I think there's, like I said, shadows with the possible ISS, whatever, you know, we, that's a whole different discussion about the ISS, but I don't know if people have said that there's shadows from that or shadows from anything else that they've noticed on the moon. Um, I've, I've heard a few things. So how are these shadows being depicted on the moon? If the moon's not a physical object? Well, and the thing is about the craters, like what actually are the craters? Are the craters um, are the, are the craters there to make the moon appear as a physical object so that we are tricked into believing that? Then was the moon? Are we, were we tricked into believing the moon was a physical object? Because I would I would guess most people that don't look into this stuff very much they would just assume the moon's a f solid object just by looking at it. And then if you get your HD cameras or your telescopes and you zoom in, you can see all the fine detail of the moon and what appears to be a physical object. And so there I've heard some very rare theories that is it possible that the craters were not there before? Like, is is there any evidence because we. We know that pictures haven't really been around that long, maybe maybe about a hundred years or something, or whatever, maybe a couple hundred years tops. But so we don't really have the proof that craters were on the moon before cameras were were invented. Um, so it's interesting that there's craters on the moon. I would believe. I mean, if you check out my moon playlist. I have some some videos on there where we, we talk about the craters on the moon and um, it's on the moon map video where I discuss the moon map and the, um, the ancient stories about how the craters of the moon got there and there was what there was some extra biblical passages that suggest that the moon was vandalized by the fallen one as he was getting kicked out of heaven and he spat on the moon and it um, vandalized the moon with these holes and it, it must have been some acid spit or something or maybe some fiery spit as the, as, uh, the fallen one has been described as a great dragon before. And so that's an interesting hypothesis to consider a biblical explanation for craters on the moon. 
I have pondered over this before and you know, it's like, well, if the moon's not a physical object, uh, then most likely the craters of the moon would have been put there by the creator. Unless the moon is interdimensional where, uh, like the spiritual realm would have had access to vandalize it to help th with their story about um, heliocentrism. So another theory might be this one would require you to um, go back to a physical moon because another theory would be that possibly during Operation Fishbowl when they were launching all these projectiles into the sky, possibly they vandalized the moon with their projectiles um the interesting thing about the craters of the moon is that they all seem to be at a 90 degree angle and if they're saying that the um the craters were a result of meteorites well that doesn't make any sense then uh, and plus with all those craters are they saying that every single meteorite just bounced right back out into outer space after they hit the moon there was no remaining craters or debris from the asteroids uh, left on the moon so it's pretty interesting this discussion I, I, I found this discussion very interesting to try to f figure out why are craters on the moon was it to make us believe that the moon is a physical object and why did they want us to believe the moon was a physical object and was it God the creator who who made it that way or did somebody vandalize the moon to make it look that way uh, with the plasma idea that enlightens us as well because there was a scientist that was questioning if the moon was a plasma ball or something and that's that's pretty interesting because this happened before anyone had ever claimed they had went to the moon so this guy what, what was making him question if the moon was if the moon was a physical object or not if um if the moon appeared as a physical object maybe was there was there no craters on the moon at that time or something i mean what made him question if the moon was a physical object or not i believe his theory almost suggests that the moon is made out of a similar a similar substance as the sun as some type of plasma thing as or as as far as what scientists claim the sun is so I don't know, I mean, could the moon have bubbled up some type of, does it look like some type of bubbles were popping or something or whatever f to make those craters? Who knows? I mean, I'd like to know your thoughts on what do you think those craters are on the moon and how did they get there? Was the moon created that way or was it vandalized to look like that? I'd like to know your thoughts in the comment section because it's pretty interesting to me that how well because the moon looks like a solid object that's what opens the door for most people to just assume all planets are solid objects you know it's like they assume all planets are solid objects and then they assume that earth is a planet and it's almost as if a lot of that thinking has to do with how the moon appears to be a physical object to us whether it is or not i mean that's that's a whole nother whole nother question. I mean, Trip, Crow Triple Seven had released some footage of lunar waves that makes the moon possibly appear like it could be some type of hologram and not really there. Um, it's pretty interesting because the moon does behave very bizarre. I mean, I, w I remember sitting at the park one time with the moon right in front of me. I look away and then the moon's well, at first the moon's massive. I look away for a second and then I look back after a while. The moon's very tiny and then I look away again. And then when I look back, the moon's gone. And then um, I look back later and the moon's in a whole different part of the sky. So it does, it definitely seems to, to behave very bizarre. I mean, the sun doesn't seem to do that. I mean, the moon just seems to follow you while you're driving and just ends up popping up all over the place throughout the night it seems like at times sometimes it's pretty interesting how the moon behaves actually um i don't know i mean 
It could be interdimensional. It could be there could be a lot of reasons why the moon appears to be a physical object. I mean, but like I said, <clears throat> well, there's evidence that the moon is not a solid object for sure. Like with the there's observations of stars being seen through the moon. You know, there's also flags of different countries that show a crescent moon with a star in the middle, which is a clue possibly because that suggests that maybe they they have insight that the moon is not a solid object and they're showing us how you know they're subconsciously showing us how you can see through the moon just as people many people have observed already with their own eyes also we can see the blue sky through the moon at times and then um and then at nighttime are we seeing the the um black sky through the moon as we have said, we had seen stars through the moon, so that suggests the dark areas of the moon are transparent, and we're seeing the sky through the moon. So it's interesting um, what the moon is. I mean, it definitely does, like when you zoom in on it, I would have to admit it probably does look like a physical object for sure, but like I said, there's evidence to suggest that it's not as well there's there's a lot of evidence actually that suggests it's not a physical object um i don't know it's a pretty interesting discussion i thought because it's just like what why are the craters on the moon why does it why does it seem like it was intended for us to believe that it's a physical object it's like why do you think that it would be designed that way for us to to for it to look like a physical object if it's not that's that's where I get you know that's where I really want to brainstorm because it's really it's very it's very interesting to try to figure that out like why if the creator if you're saying the creator created the moon with the craters with the craters in it I mean then it appears to then it would appear to us as a physical object and if it's not why why would he make it why would he want us to think the moon is a is a solid object if it's not so that's the big question you know and i'd like to know your thoughts in the comment section so let's brainstorm on it um i'm gonna leave a link to my moon playlist in the comment section in the description box as well i'm also accepting one dollar donations if you would like to support this channel um and help keep this channel online and help me get some documentary style videos out again Instead of just these podcast style videos, I'd appreciate it. Um, also, I'm going to leave a link to my other channels and my newsletters, my free email newsletters, um, my social media, plus much more. So uh, thank you for tuning in. This is Ben Feed Your Mind signing off.